Good morning guys and welcome back to another vlog. So today is August 9th. If you guys have been following along, this is like part two of prepping for my pop-up shop in LA, which I'm heading out to this Friday. So I've got four days to kind of finish things up. If you haven't watched the other vlog, you should probably watch that before this just so you're caught up. But I do have quite a few things made already. I'll kind of show you quickly everything that I have. So basically this is all that I have, which is a lot. I feel like it doesn't look like a lot, but it is a lot. There's like 23 pieces that I have so far. So I still have time to make quite a few more more. The things that I want to make more of are skorts because I do have quite a lot of fabric of that So I'm gonna make some black ones I'm gonna cut out maybe like four or five more is what I'm thinking and then I want to make some green ones with the um, Original like squirt fabric this one it's dark in here. You can't even see it But um, that's kind of what I'm thinking I want to get ahead on those two things and then we'll see what else I have time for I can honestly make more patchwork tanks as well So that'll be like the last minute thing I do if I have more time for it But I want to get squirts first and then maybe more patchwork tanks is kind of what I'm thinking So yeah, I've got four days to kind of figure it all out. So let's get uh, let's get working kind of see behind me i have three skorts that are cut surged prepped pinned darted and ready to go <laughs> darted a word probably not but they're all ready to be sewn but it's about to be 12 so i'm going to take a lunch break and then get to sewing but yeah i already had two made so i have an extra small and a small made so i have a medium large and extra large is what i'm making right now because i have one of each size which i had just enough fabric for actually which i'm very happy about so i have one of each size of that and then i want to have one of each size of the green ones i think i'll have enough for that actually i don't even remember i ordered zippers for these a couple days ago because my local joann's has been like very low in like zippers and also like the grommets that I use for the rose tops, they've been out of them the entire summer. So I always have to order them online and even online it's super hard to find the exact ones that I like to use. So those have been super hard to find too. So I always order as much as I can when I find them anywhere, um, whether it's on Joann's website or on Amazon or whatever. Like I find that it's just been very difficult to find them. So anyway, I ordered zippers for these a couple days ago. Um, I think I ordered four or five of these. So I'll have plenty for that because I wasn't sure how many I'll have, but I don't remember if I ordered like three or four or five of the green ones. So we'll see when we get there, but yeah have that going for me very excited oh i'm like getting a little bit stressed about it just because i want to get so much more done and i like feel like time is taken away even though i still have time but it's like just wish i had more time to get more stuff made even though i have a good amount of stuff made i just like it's just the satisfaction of wanting like a full rack of clothes made even though it's not necessary but like would be really cool to see a whole rack of clothes that i made all at once you know like i'd never get to see it all at once so it'd be really cool but yeah anyway i'm feeling good about this though i think these should be pretty quick to make and obviously i don't have the zippers yet so i'll just leave them prepped up until like the zipper point and then i'll probably start cutting out the green ones if not maybe i'll start making some patchwork tanks since i have the black thread on the serger and i have some black patchwork things i want to make so yeah that's kind of the vibe but i will catch you guys after lunch all three of these up to like where I need them to be before I can put in the zipper and I've honestly just been doing laundry for the past like who knows how long I had so much to do and I just was like putting it off so that I would have all the things that I needed just like for my trip and stuff so yeah 
had a lot to do been folding things still have a few more things to uh put away but i think i'm gonna take a little break and kind of start packing things mostly because i am running out of hangers so i want to get some things off of hangers and into my suitcase so that i can use those hangers for the other things i need to hang so i'm gonna do that really quick and then i will get back to this i think we're gonna make some patchwork tanks or something but i am feeling good about the progress i'm glad that i got to make three more of these and have like the full size range i wish i could have like multiple of each size but i'd rather have at least one of each size than like multiples of just one or two sizes just so that i have that whole range but yeah we are doing it slowly but surely i think that i'm going to try to get everything done by wednesday so that thursday i can just like email them and let them know how much inventory i'm bringing of each and all of that i don't want to be super last minute with letting them know what i'm bringing i think wednesday's gonna be my last day so thursday i can just do like housekeeping on that making sure everything's ready packing it all up making sure everything has like tags and like everything's ironed out and like lint rolled and all that stuff and then i also obviously want to spend the day like cleaning up my studio so that when I come back everything is nice and in its place because that always takes up a good chunk of the day as well but yeah I'm going to take a quick break and I will be right back good morning guys it is now Thursday I didn't really vlog Tuesday or Wednesday at all Tuesday I hung out with Kennedy and Rachel because it was like the last day that we could all hang out before they went back to college so I kind of took the day off and you know did various things with them so that was that and then yesterday I literally spent the entire day at my computer editing a couple of videos got them like edited and uploaded and scheduled for when I'm gone and I also got a bunch of like TikToks and Reels made for the time that I'm like out in California so that I have them like pre-made I don't have to think about it so I got that all out of the way but that took all day like literally 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. I was sitting there like just working the day away so wasn't too exciting to vlog that obviously but today is obviously Thursday the day before I leave so I got in the zippers yesterday so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up uh, these two skirts actually three skirts and then the one that was for me also that I'm gonna take on the trip I need to finish that one up so I'm gonna finish those up and yeah then we can start packing everything I went ahead and already sent them the list of the inventory that I'm bringing and all of that so that is all set to go I am so excited to finally head out there and have everything ready I'll kind of show you guys what my rack looks like right now because I set it all up nicely yesterday just for the sake of taking an Instagram picture but I'm like so excited to just see it all together so this is what it all looks like right now it actually does feel very full once you actually like separate it out and like I don't know have it all like this I feel like I actually made a lot which is really nice so that's where we're at with that that's kind of the vibe for today just kind of finishing everything up prepping everything to leave packing things up and um yeah cleaning up as well i need to clean up my studio my office everything my house is literally just like a mess right now because i've been working so much and haven't had time to do anything but i want to make sure i have time to clean everything up vacuum everything up and just like be ready to go so let's start putting these zippers in <laughs> died like halfway through that but I got all three of these done and then I also got mine done but that's in the other room I'm gonna pack it hopefully wear it out there so now I have one of every single size which makes me very happy also just so people can like try them on if they want because I've never been able to like have people try things on before buying so I think that's also really cool and really fun especially with like something like I don't know like pants and stuff are always more difficult to kind of figure out sizing and kind of like you know I just think it's better to try things on so I'm very excited that people will be able to do so I'm gonna put the tags on all of these I actually still have to make one more patchwork tank I forgot that uh, of these black ones I had written down that I was making one of every size but then I for whatever reason skipped over the large and made the extra large and so I'm still missing a large so I need to make that and then I'll be all done but those are quick to make and I still have a good amount of that fabric left i found more again i literally don't know where i was hiding all this fabric but when i first started last year 
I like if things didn't sell very well after a while I would just like take them off the site but still have that fabric and I just forgot that that was a thing so all this fabric is from early on like these are the t-shirts from last fall that they actually did pretty well but after a while I just stopped selling them because I was kind of tired of making them so I had a lot of that fabric and then these are from the pants which also like sold relatively okay but also like after a while I was just tired of it, so I still had leftover fabric. So yeah, that's kind of where all this random fabric is coming from, but I am not mad about it. I'm very glad that I had enough for all of these sizes. So yeah, I'm so excited to start packing all this up. I think I'm gonna make a couple of TikToks and stuff with all of the items first, and then I'll get everything packed up and ready to go. I hope nothing wrinkles too much in my suitcase. That's the only thing I'm like concerned about. I'm like, everything's so nicely ironed right now, and like, I feel like my suitcase might just hopefully not wrinkle it too much but i feel like it'll get a little bit wrinkled which is fine but yeah got one more so i don't know if i've said this already in this vlog or not but i'm actually doing new york fashion week and doing a pop-up there too so it'll be a show and a pop-up and i'll you know show you guys all the process of that but that's coming up like pretty much right after this so anything that doesn't sell here i'm going to take to new york and i'm also going to make obviously a few extra things for new york so that's kind of why i stopped making more stuff for this and kind of just like topped it off there so that I would still have enough fabrics to make stuff for that other pop-up too. So if you're in New York, September 9th, I'll give out more details on my Instagram eventually, but September 9th, I will be in New York and we can, uh, you know, hang out, meet up. You guys can shop my stuff. I'm super excited to be able to be doing like in-person events, especially like I said, for people to like try things on and get a feel for like the quality of my items and stuff like that it's just so exciting i feel like because i don't know i just like never get to see people's reactions to like seeing my stuff for the first time so super fun all right all of that is ready so i literally just have to make one more patchwork tank and we will be done i'm so excited i was honestly kind of worried that all this wouldn't look good together because i was like i have a bunch of random colors but i always end up having the same color scheme of like black white and red and like pink so that's literally what we got and um not mad about it and then obviously like the blue from the denim toads but very excited anyway it's like almost lunchtime so I'm going to answer some emails and such kind of do some uh, computer work for a little bit and then I'll catch you guys after lunch So I just got the last shirt done. It's right here. And now I'm officially done with absolutely everything for the pop-up shop, which is insane. And I never thought I'd get to this day, but I finally got here. I'm thinking that I might actually just start cleaning up around here. I think I'm gonna still do some sewing later tonight for other things that I have to do that aren't for the pop-up shop, but I do kind of want to get like this room clean up. I kind of just have stuff everywhere, but I also have kind of stuff everywhere in here. So I definitely want to clean that up. I cleaned up downstairs a little bit in my kitchen, but I also want to clean a little bit more down there, just like more in depth, just kind of get everything in its place so that I can come home to like a clean house. That's like the best feeling ever is like not having to come home to cleaning things up or an organized space, especially because I know I'm going to come back and have so much work to do. So I want to make sure that my space is clean and like ready for me to get to work when I come back. So I'm going to go ahead and start kind of cleaning everything up. All right, so both this room and this room are all cleaned up. So I think I'm gonna take some videos and make some content with all the stuff that I have currently on here just before I start packing it all because it obviously looks very nice. I wanna make sure I have as much content as I can have. So I'm gonna take some videos of everything, get some pictures maybe, whatever, and then I'll pack it all up. I don't know what is going on outside. There's construction all over my neighborhood all the time. So I don't know if like you guys can hear that all the time, but there's always like a million noises. But anyway, yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and make some content and then go ahead and edit it and have it all ready to go. And then like once I have that all ready, I'll pack it all up, get myself fully situated before I kind of like start on other things that I wanna get ahead for for next week. But I'm feeling really good about having everything done like very far in advance in the day. Like it's only like two or maybe like 2.30 right now. So still super early and still can get a lot done. So that is super good. Feeling real good about everything. So let's make some content. So 
I just went ahead and filmed a bunch of stuff. I got this packed up as well to film that. And yeah, it's now packed up and ready. So I'm gonna kind of finish packing that up and packing my own actual outfits up as well. And I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Hi guys, it is so much later. It is like 9 p.m. now. I spent the rest of the afternoon editing and cleaning and packing and just getting my life together, getting things organized, getting things put away. And yeah, the whole day just like went by so fast. I think I'm going to wrap up the night here soon. I don't want to go to bed too late because my flight is early in the morning. I have to get up at five. So, you know, that's a little rough. My battery's about to die. Give me a second. Anyway, as I was saying, I have an early flight at 7, so I'm waking up at 5, so I can be there by 6. So, don't want to stay up too late, but yeah, I don't think I'm going to vlog the entire trip necessarily. I like to, like, actually, you know, enjoy my time and not have to worry about filming and stuff, but obviously I will film the pop-up shop and show you guys that, so that is probably with, like, the next clips that you're going to see. So, super excited. Again, if you're in the area, by the time this goes up, I think there should still be a couple days left of the pop-up it's running from august 15th to the 31st so if you're in la go check it out but yeah i will catch you guys when i'm there <laughs> What are they called? Cute. Cute. Nice. I only have three of these. This okay. Is one of a kind. I made this with the leftovers of my flamenco dress that I made that I posted like a week ago from like when I was 16. <laughs> these are leftovers from a dress I made in high school. So, oh, I'm um, doing yeah. really great. We're doing doing a solid job here. This was leftover from a custom order. These are leftovers from last summer. The leftovers from um, last fall I made t-shirts. And these are leftovers from last fall I made pants. I don't know if these leftover denim slash denim people give me because they assume that I want their scraps. <laughs> and all of these are made from scraps too. So super fun. These are cute. Where are we right now? We're um we're in What shop? We're on Monroe's at Screen Summer. Come check it out. So we're at spring and summer. And we just set up. It just opened. So uh, hopefully people start shopping. <laughs> we made it. We did it. Come shop. 